And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode on The Shred. I believe this is episode recording. This is episode 8. I want to say episode 8. And um, guys, I haven't I haven't seen you or made a little episode in a little bit of time. We're, uh, we're still going. We're still hitting it. There is no excuse. We're going to get it. I actually weighed myself this morning. I'll put up the, uh, the weight. What do you guys think? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? We're 176.6. All right, that's insane. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I weighed myself, so today's Monday. I weighed myself Friday, and I was actually gonna film this episode then when I was hitting legs, but I was like, my goal was 177, and I was like 178 something, and I was like, no, like this is not what I want. So I just waited it out, um, actually increased the fast, which I'm gonna speak about later, instead of eight hours to 10 hours now, which is pretty ridiculous. I've never done this before, but we're gonna really milk it, and we woke up 176.6, which is, or I just weighed myself now before I ate. So I woke up at 6, okay, and it's 4.45. Now, that is almost um, 11 hours instead of um, instead of 10, but, you know, whatever. It's kind of cool. I just like, I, I like to see how far I can go, you know, without getting super hungry. So we're definitely getting leaner. It's going well, guys. Oh, yes. Mom came clutch. She made food. So blessed. Oh, this is great. So look what we're going to eat. <laughs> So we have two egg salad sandwiches, which I might, might not. And we have some really good seasoned lean chicken breast. I will most likely be having that. Um, ooh, oh yeah. And we have, I think, a pork cutlet with some um, fried cucumbers, maybe a bit of olive oil on that. There's one for me and one for Andrew. So yeah, let's definitely get that, get on the table and get this going, guys. Things are heating up. We have maybe a week or two left, guys. and. Uh, Oh, we surpassed the goal. My initial goal, if you guys remember the first episode, was 178. And when I said that, I was a little reluctant. I was like, oh, like if we make it, like, oh, let's go. I'm 176. Holy shit. That's cool. But again, not getting too attached or too excited. We still got work to do, so let's get it. And uh, we'll do a home workout for today's poll. So I'm going to get you guys covered, do a physique update, all that stuff. So with that said, let's get on the table. And all right, guys, at the table. So we have those cucumbers, lightly fried. Oh. That's Kiro. The cucumbers are lightly fried with that little pork cutlet right there, and then I cut up a few ounces of chicken breast. Right, so if you're noticing, you're saving. I know it's a low. It's like where are the carbs, David. Um, I'll probably have some bread or something like that. But and what one thing I've noticed, guys, as I've gotten leaner and stuff, mm, is you think like, oh, naturally you want to, you know, because you're restricting yourself, you want to eat all these crappy bad foods. And I've actually noticed the opposite, like. The leaner I get, obviously the less natural I want to eat because I'm physically getting smaller. So you guys may think that like, oh, the leaner I get is going to be harder and harder because I'm going to want to keep eating more. No, you guys need to keep in mind like as you get leaner and you, you literally shrink in size, so does, so does everything. Your whole BMR, guys, your BMI, everything just changes. Your entire body physiologically, your TA, your TF, your metabolism, everything just, it like, you're smaller as a human being, so your body physically requires less food. Um, you're, you're burning less food because TF, you're eating less food, and your thermic effective activity, you gotta keep in mind, the bigger you are, the more it takes for your body to, like the more calories it's gonna burn because your body weighs more. Everything you do is gonna burn more calories. When you're lighter, you can do it easier. So I just keep that in mind. As you get smaller, you naturally, not even forcefully, but naturally will eat less to sustain that, which is, Pretty dope. I mean, that makes sense, right? So, anyways, I don't want this to get cold. Let's. Oh, we got this really good Frank's buffalo sauce. You guys know I'm like a fanatic for hot sauce, and like I've been loving this. Now it's not too spicy or too hot, but I'm telling you guys, when you're dieting or cutting, hot sauce it's your best freaking friend. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's gonna be an ASMR eating channel now, okay? <laughs> so anyways, we'll put up a time lapse and check in with you guys afterwards. And alright guys, what is up? So it is a little bit later. I believe you saw me when I ate my first meal, so I'm not gonna lie, it is quite a bit later, guys. I know the days seem boring, I'm just like I like my days are full of like working, going for walks, or just like eating. It's very basic, redundant stuff, guys. And that's just, that's just, you know, completely being honest here in quarantine and just, you know, being an entrepreneur, I guess a business owner. It's not a, yeah. So anyways, though, guys, as a little bit of context, I'm going to update you tomorrow more on this, but cardio because what I'm doing. So I'm going for four walks a day. As you know, I've increased the fast to, um, and by the way, we're in the basement, obviously. Uh, we've increased the fast to 10 hours. Like I told you guys, I'm going for now four walks a day, each around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So cardio is ramped up. It used to be three, now it's four. 
Um, and then the fast is ramped up. So that's how I choose to periodically um, really ramp up the fat loss. So I don't choose to track calories and then decrease that. I just increase cardio and then increase my fast, which obviously total net will obviously decrease the uh, calories consumed or obviously calories burned, which equates to a caloric deficit, meaning you get leaner. Okay. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to work out. It is now 930, a little later than normal. But um, let's do it, 9.32. Today we're hitting pull as it's Monday. So we got low weights. Thanks, shout outs to the cousin man. Came so clutch, 90 pounds. Um, and that, and then my little pull up beam bar. And it's great because I coach many of you men. And um, I, I, like, you're able to do these home workouts completely fine. You know, yet, yes, you might have to get resourceful by finding like a bar or a tree branch or something like that. But for the most part, guys, I just don't want you to feel that you can't work out or you can't gain muscle or lose weight just because you're in quarantine temporarily. It's bullshit. There are tons of resources. If you're not following my Instagram page, follow that because I break down the exercises all there. And um, yeah, just help you guys out. So enough talking. Let's get a little B-roll clip and I'm going to go to bed and then wake up. To oh, and I've been napping too, man. Like, that's the next thing. I've just been fucking napping, guys. It's not a... It's not the glamorous life right now. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. Workout, boom, bureau clip, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll talk more about cardio, diet, things like that to really uh, dial things in. Pull day, little physique update check. Let's go. And all right, guys, it is several hours later. We are looking at just under 4 o'clock. We eat at 4, so we have this bomb-ass Asian salad, which is super good, guys, when you're dieting. Just volume that, probably a few hundred calories at max, especially with the texture of those little crunchy things. They make all the difference. Trust me. And we have a sandwich. We have some salami, a little bit of Swiss cheese, hot sauce. You guys always know that is the flex. A little bit of low-calorie lemonade. That comes clutch, too, guys. Lower-calorie um, drinks. And you are good to go. Right there, just a little tiny low calorie 35. So let's muck this, time lapse, see you in the next clip. And all right, guys, what is up? It is the next day. I know, guys, I've been super sporadic and just not the best, I guess, at documenting this 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 shred episode. And I apologize, guys, just completely honest. Being an entrepreneur running businesses is not always... Uh, glamorous like it doesn't always look glamorous and guys to be honest my days like they're they're very repetitive It's like I don't eat for 10 hours. I eat a meal I like go for three four walks a day I lift and then like I go to bed like that, that's it It's really there's really not too much to document especially right now in quarantine, but nonetheless guys I'm still gonna aim to give you guys value. So um, I, I believe I saw you in the walk I spoke a little bit about cardio there now guys we're back in the basement into Wednesday So that was Tuesday I believe and the first workout pull day was Monday. So Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm now about to do a push workout. Okay guys, so we're in the basement So now I'm like 9 15 or so and I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna record it But I'm gonna do a voiceover for this one because I really want to start uh, incorporating some voiceovers again. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get my water. <laughs> I want to start doing some voiceovers again for you guys because um, I just I really want to document and explain exactly like how I'm working out, you know? 
Damn. So let's do that. We'll get a we'll get a push day, and I'll explain exactly the exercises, why I'm doing them, and how it can help you guys. So we'll do that voiceover, and I'll see you guys in the outro clip back upstairs. Let's go. And alright, guys, welcome back to a voiceover on the channel. So we are doing push, just like I said. This is shoulders, triceps, and chest. All right. Now you guys know my style of training right now. This is hybrid training, or what I call warrior training. Okay. So this is our fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers, or essentially strength and bodybuilding. So here, because of quarantine, guys, I'm I'm not going too heavy with the strength stuff, meaning my rep range isn't too low. Normally it would be it would start off with four to six. I believe here it's more the six to eight. So let's count. We got one. I'm not going to count, but I know it's higher than four to six, and that's just simply because, you know, I don't have an insane amount of weight. And also I do want to be careful because I don't have the exact proper equipment, meaning I'm kind of on a random stool here. I'm not on a legitimate weightlifting bench. So just if you guys are still in quarantine, don't feel, you know, like you need to go balls to the wall unless you have the proper equipment. And of course you are safe doing so. So here guys, as always, we hit three sets for everything. I believe we have like, I don't know, six, 70 pounds or something like that. Just one arm. Now you guys could do both. The reason I'm doing one is for two reasons. Okay. One, um, I don't have enough weight to use, to divide this in half to do two, to do two arms for it to be effective enough. And another thing guys, that's actually a really cool perk about this is that seat sitting here without the backrest actually gives, um, you guys got to keep on anytime you don't have a backrest. So whether you're standing or you're seating, sitting without a backrest, you're using all of your lower back and your core to stabilize you. Okay. So your core from preventing you from falling forward and your back from preventing you sorry your core from preventing you to fall backwards and your core uh, fuck. core backwards back forwards is essentially what i'm saying so give this a shot if you guys want to train this always keep in mind that compound lifts like this will still train your abs okay this is why a lot of people get away without training abs because these compound lifts are stabilizing you all right so now we're moving on to chest press same thing guys one arm because i wouldn't have enough weight if i divided it by two i believe this is 80 pounds here going for around eight to ten reps that's where i'm keeping everything the rep range eight to ten which is pretty solid you know you're gonna get a good mix between your fast twitch and slow slow twitch muscle fibers um the main things here obviously find a decent bench like this here surprisingly works very well you can see that i'm stabilizing myself by really just keeping that other arm targeted on my chest you know it's also a good mental cue too to remind yourself to contract the chest and that may sound a little silly but every time you you know I'll, I'll do that many times like if i'm hitting triceps maybe my arm will be on a certain part of my body or a certain part of my tricep simply just give me that reminder like yo don't forget i'm not doing it for this side here maybe it's just because i injured myself but i do notice i do that when lifting sometimes and it can really help so i end up hitting three sets of everything i'm just kind of moving it along because i don't want this video to be too long okay now we're doing triceps so shoulders chest triceps right these single arm extensions extensions are amazing now normally i would be seated on a bench um, and go much heavier but again because i'm standing and i'm not using that back pad this is going to utilize much more energy all right it's going to take energy out of my core and my lower back to stabilize myself as well as my legs to keep me you know grounded and stable so you will not you will not be able to go as heavy when you are standing which can be a benefit you know if you want to train more of like a full body right and again i don't have enough weight to do um both hands so i'm just hitting one now this actually hits the long part of your your um the tricep head the long tricep head which is close to the armpit it's actually the inner meaty part which really gives you that nice big thick fat almost swollen look to your triceps not the horseshoe but the thick swollen look right by your triceps which is very very important guys keep that in mind different exercises will hit different parts of the tricep head and next guys we are now at our lateral shoulder raises okay guys these are amazing i mean they're a staple i'm rocking a little bit here you know I'm, i am lifting a little bit heavy you don't need to go too heavy with these i am going one-handed for a few reasons one i don't have again Actually, you know, I do have the weight to use it in both hands, but sometimes leaning like this can be really nice because I, you can notice I'm holding onto the, the beam and that's allowing me to lean into the rep a little bit. This is just going to pre prevent a little bit of rocking and further the or increase the range of motion or contraction by leaning into it. You know, it, 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 you're going to be able to just, you know, feel it a little bit better. You can't really rock too much when you're leaning where I notice if I have both dumbbells, sometimes I, I rock. Another thing too is you could try seated, right? This seated is also great for this reason where it just prevents a lot of rocking which is going to force you to use a weight which you can handle you know um in my lifting career i'm really <laughs> i'm really cutting a lot of the ego because you know once you injure yourself guys it, it kind of changes your perspective on a lot of things okay so anyways we are now finishing it off and again guys i do three sets of everything but i'm just trying to speed it up here we're now finishing off with a chest and tricep exercise this is a close grip weighted decline push-up okay so i believe here maybe like eight to ten reps or something like that you can see i'm just adjusting my grip as i go um close grip guys is amazing because it's very comfortable it's gonna be don't worry it's gonna be good on your wrist but believe it or not you actually don't have to go closer than this a lot of people when they go close grip they do triangle push-ups it's horrible for your wrist guys like that's just it's not gonna be comfortable at all it's a very 
awkward amount of strain on your wrist itself. So what you can do for close grip is essentially, essentially just like um, close grip bench press. And I'm also showing you guys how I put on the weighted backpack in case you guys want to know how I just let it, uh, you know, rest somewhere. And then I, then I tighten it very tight to the tightest setting. And then I go, so it doesn't whack me in the back of the head, especially if you have weights in it. But yeah, essentially guys just go close where it's like just essentially shoulder width or just inside shoulder width. Like you can see here. Okay. You're still going to target your chest and your triceps. Amazing. So yeah, it's definitely a myth that you have to go extremely close. That's in fact, isn't very safe for you. And I'm just kind of like whacking the bag because it keeps falling over. And I think eventually I'm just like, okay there we go i'm like let's tighten it up and let's just do it also guys for a decline like you can see here it's going to make the exercise harder and this is what i say to you guys as clients if you've maxed out the normal push-up then do decline because you now have more gravity pulling you down so more of your body weight is pushing you down making the exercise even harder and you can really see this is targeting my upper chest very nicely even the angle i'm hitting it you know right here so triceps shoulders and my chest i believe i get like one more i am dipping down a little bit i shouldn't dip as much but i mean fuck it you know it's just the way it goes boys so anyways guys that is it for the exercise hope you guys enjoyed this the little quarantine workout my workouts definitely have changed this at, re at recording this right now because i have more weight which you guys will see very soon coming up but um yeah just an amazing overall body weight stuff guys that you can hit at home and if you guys do not have weights just feel free to use a backpack and fill it up with miscellaneous things like bird seeds or i don't know dog food really anything guys that's what i did for at least the first couple weeks so with that i will see you guys now back on the main camera hope you enjoyed this peace and right guys, workout is complete, it is done. It is 10.59, so I like to be in bed for around 10, 10.30 because I'm up kind of early, but it's okay nonetheless. We're going to uh, shower up after this then go to bed. So we have two cucumbers cut up with some light ball song. If you guys know the deal, what is up, the vegetable hack. Uh, my mom made this sandwich. It is on a croissant, cr croissant, croissant with uh, tomatoes a bit of turkey, salami, and then a bit of cheese, and I use the hot sauce, you guys know what is up. A little higher in fat, but that is okay. So, I'm not exactly sure what I said in the workout. I'm sure it was everything fitness related, but, you know guys, <laughs> we have around, from recording this, I believe a week left of this shred of going, you know, 10 hours fast. You know, we're at 176.6, and we're, my goal at least is to be in 174, so like 174.6, something 174, which means we, we came lower than our second goal, right? So our first goal was 178, we surpassed that. My second goal then was 175. If I can just come in a little bit below 175, I'm I'm happy. The lowest I would ever go is 173, I think 174, we're good. So we got a week, and uh, it's already been two days since the last win, so I'm feeling good, guys. We're gonna grind out this last week. It's not easy, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. My uh, ir irritability, ir irritability, and just on edgeness is has never been higher. And uh, yeah, I mean, guys, that's just what happens. You know, there's there's not much to it when you're dieting. Sometimes you just have to see the finish line and just keep you know your, your entire focus on that. And uh, and that's it. And it, what's actually perfect is I have exactly one week left of, of my BCAs, so it timed out beautifully. You know, once this is done, I plan to go back to eight hour fast, so not ten hours, eight hours and then go back to more of like a moderate maintenance. I'm not gonna be bulking or anything like that. And I'll chill there for a couple weeks, like a maintenance. And hopefully by that time, the gyms will be open. I pray to God. And then we start the new series fresh, which I'm not gonna say the name. So the next episode will be the last one. Let's hope for 174, something in there. And I'll be stoked, guys. So I appreciate you, I'm gonna finish the video there. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I apologize, my energy is not super crazy, nor the video is consistent, inconsistent, I understand. But if you guys enjoyed it, you know, if this is prep life or diet life, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. As always, guys, there is fitness and nutrition coaching one on one with all of you guys, and uh, as well as the course, if you guys are interested, a near two hour long course explaining everything on fitness and nutrition. If you guys want to completely transform your physique, food, understanding, intuitive eating, intermittent fasting, hybrid training, fast twitch, slow twitch, literally guys, everything I've ever learned in my seven plus years, I put into this two hour course. It's extremely affordable for you guys for everything you're getting. So this is a fitness and nutrition course as well as coaching. If you guys really want to transform your physique, I'm, I've trained hundreds of people. Like I. I will transform your physique. So links are always down below at davidhammondfitness.com and that's it. Thanks guys. Catch you in the next one. Last episode next week. Till then, I appreciate you guys for tagging along. Peace.